Let me follow this up. Vroom, vroom. And it runs just like it did before. You know what's funny, that? I've had a heap of guys ringing me saying, well, I've had three in the last week. Or messaging me or ringing me. Going, I've got an airflow meter code. Oh, okay, yep. Doesn't seem to be responding, no voltage in the, on the scan tool. Or they just say airflow meter. I'm like, what about auction sensor codes? And they have all four auction sensor heaters. Kind of weird, eh? Airflow meter and four auction sensor codes. Do you want me to show you why? What happens is they lower the shit out of their cars. And let me just check. Oh, yeah, just about. I'm sure it's this one. And they blow this fuse. And one the other day, the guy had the car brought into the workshop, and that fuse was not present. And then watch how it runs. It's still run. Just really bad. Idols? I've got a check VSV. V oh, check VSC. Check engine. I got the check engine light and watch this. And it won't rev over three grand. Come rev, huh? So, EFI yeah. 2. I saw one, it wasn't on an LS430, it was a 400, and he's had his cats removed. And of course, what it does, when you remove this, or when it doesn't have voltage to the airflow meter, it goes seven milliseconds of fuel. So there's just plumes of black smoke coming out the back. And the 430's kind of idle smooth, but the 400's often sound like they've got a lumpy cam in them. And um, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, airflow meter. And then, because they all, always bring up the airflow meter codes, they always tell me about them, they don't always mention the auction sensor codes because they don't think that's important. You've got to look at all the information. So we'll put the fuse back in. You got all the reefs back? 